Hello Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to be doing a love reading. Um, this is going to be another 411 love reading. So a reading where we look at pretty much everything that you would want to know about love. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading. So it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. If this doesn't resonate at all, that's okay. Check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, or any other sign of significance. Um, check out the description box where I'll have all of the playlists for each sign linked and that way you can check out those videos uh, and see if messages will resonate for you. Okay, let's jump right in. Spirit angels, guys. Messages for Capricorn, please, regarding love. What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, regarding love? What's going on for Capricorn and love? I need to know about these What do we need to know for Capricorn? I'm using the Northern Animal Tarot, and I have this uh, listed in the description box along with all the other decks that I use if you're curious and you want to check this one out. Okay, so let's see what's going on currently for you in love. King of Swords reverse. Four of Wands reverse. Well, something is not really uh, stable or happy right now. There could have been verbal conflict or deception or lack of clarity or communication. We'll have to see what that's all about. Past energies or what's influencing this current situation the four of swords and the hangman so right away i see no movement no action and possibly no communication with these two energies here okay how do you feel about this person the tower and the ten of swords capricorn what the hell happened? When you think about this person, you think about what's blown up, what has not worked out, what has ended here. What do they think about you? The Ten of Cups and Temperance Reverse, Sagittarius Energy. So I think they recognize the imbalance. They might be wanting to bring something back into balance here. I almost get the sense that this was someone that there was a Ten of Cups possibility here. And it's like ruined. Okay, so what do you need to know? Any hidden factors here? What's going on? Ace of Pentacles, Reverse. And the Emperor, Aries Energy. Okay. Okay. And where is all of this headed in the near future? Two of Cups. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, this is going to be kind of like a wild ride. I can already tell um, in terms of like what we're going to be talking about and what's going to come up. Okay. Um, okay, something big happened between you and this person. This is not a reading for those of you that nothing has happened in your connection. I can tell you that right now. Um... Definitely things have gone down here. Um, let's see if I can kind of show these cards. Okay. So why is all of this happening? What's the root? The Four of Pentacles. Someone could be holding back or holding on to something. We'll have to see what that's all about. Okay. Man. My poor Capricorn viewers i don't know what happened but i can tell you it was not easy let's clarify let's get some insight for capricorn can you get some insight please for capricorn i mean this could very well be that someone hasn't said something with the four of pentacles here the four of swords king of swords reverse we'll have to see what's going on here for Capricorn. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles. 
This is the why everything is happening, the root, the overall energy. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? Well, there you are, Capricorn, the devil. Okay. Tell me more about this Four of Pentacles. First card out is you. Can I get some more insight on this Four of Pentacles, please? Seven of Pentacles, okay. I feel like someone's wondering how you feel. The moon's at the bottom of the deck here, Pisces energy. Um, I feel like this is someone wondering about you. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is kind of a card about um, being nervous or worried about what the future might bring. Um, this is somebody that has been planting seeds and is ready to harvest, but doesn't know exactly how the harvest will go. Um, so with the Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here, I'm getting someone that's kind of thinking about um, what they don't know. It's like some, someone could be holding back here and that leaves the other person wondering. Let's see if I can get one more. Tell me about the devil energy. Why is the devil here, Spirit? Why is the devil here? The Magician. Okay, tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What's the Seven of Pentacles about? What's the Seven of Pentacles about? Yeah, someone's wondering. Four of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. I think someone wants to manifest or make something happen with you. Um, but they're not sure of how you would take it is kind of what I'm seeing here. You know, will Capricorn be interested? Will they care what I have to say? Will they accept my offer? Will I get rejected? What are they thinking? You know, I feel like this person's wondering that because they're trying to make something happen with you, but they're not sure how it, how it would go. Okay, so let's look at the current situation. What the heck happened here with this King of Swords reverse? Why is the King of Swords reversed? Typically, they're very difficult to deal with. Why is the King of Swords reversed? But because I have the Four of Swords and the Hangman down here, I wonder if this is someone that is not communicating, not um, talking or expressing themselves, whatever. Um, tell me about the King of Swords reverse. Page of Cups. See? I feel like this is someone that's not expressing their, their feelings. And I think it's bringing confusion to the situation. This could be you as well. You might be keeping your feelings to yourself because of everything that's gone down here. This could be also someone wanting to apologize to a person that they have pissed off. Because King of Swords Reverse is definitely somebody that's not happy. Okay, what happened here with this Four of Wands Reverse? The world. I do feel there was an ending here. And it could very well be that someone wants to make this ending begin again or start over. The Emperor shows up again, Aries energy. It's over here as well. So I feel like this is somebody that, especially with the Page of Cups in the world, hoping for a new beginning, a new cycle here. I feel like something has already ended though, because you have the Ten of Swords and the Tower. When you think about this person, you think about an ending. This Magician, this Emperor, very similar energy. The Emperor is a doer. Can I get one more overall energy for the King of Swords reverse and the Four of Cups? Nope, the Four of Wands reverse. Well, those came right out. Okay, the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. So I do feel like this is someone that wants to work on things. A new beginning, for sure. Someone wants a new beginning. This could be you, this could be your person. I have a feeling it's your person, but take it as it resonates. However, you know, working together, working on this, a new beginning, blah, blah, blah. That's not going to happen if the Four of Swords is here with the Hangman. 
these people aren't doing anything. They're laying down or, or tied up. So it, I find it very fascinating that these energies are influencing this current situation. Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Six of Wands, not sure how that would happen. Okay, maybe this is someone thinking about this. Why is the Four of Swords here with the Hangman? Five of Wands. Can you get one more please for this Four of Swords? King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So what I'm getting here is someone's thinking. I think in their mind, this could go either way. This could be a Six of Wands or a Five of Wands. This could be a successful endeavor or a complete disaster. I get the sense that, I don't know, I just am picking up this energy of you. Um, it's like no matter whatever happened be between you and this person, um, you came out good in that situation or you were not at fault or something like that i feel like you are still someone i don't know it, it it's it's like you're appearing to be a king of pentacles energy because i feel this is you um and they're showing up as a page of cups like that's kind of what i'm picking up here um so far we'll see if i'm right about that but so far that's what i get it's almost like no matter what happened here you're okay or you at least look okay <laughs> um can i get one more for this king of pentacles what can you tell me about the king of pentacles ace of swords um seven of swords at the bottom of the deck what the heck these are like opposite energies. Yeah, you see, it's almost like um, you're both on different spectrums. Maybe you are focused on the truth and clarity and being honest and they're not. Um, or someone's trying to, or not trying to, but realizing the truth about someone's actions or behaviors. The truth is something very clear here. You know, it's like someone can, it's like a flashlight is shining on the Seven of Swords. And this King of Pentacles knows about it. What's behind this? I'm just curious. Justice, geez. Libra energy. Yeah, I feel like someone is, um, whatever the Seven of Swords was about, they're not going to win. This person is not getting away with it. This person is not pulling the wool over your eyes. This person is not going to be able to hide something from you. This probably already happened because you have the tower and the ten of swords here but justice libra energy that they, they, they do not play this is like everything that was meant to happen all the pieces fall into place justice is here to make things right so if someone was being a seven of swords justice is it's like almost like a like like the principal shows up or something <laughs> i feel like you know it's like a judge shows up Okay, let's look at the energies between you and this person. I'm curious. How are you guys, um, you know, what are the energies between you and, and this other person that caused this tower or was involved here with you? Spirit, can I get some insight into the energies between Capricorn and this other person? What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the energies between Capricorn and this other person? Tell me about the energy that Capricorn is bringing to this connection. Yeah. Standing firm. You're standing firm against any challenge. Defense, resistance, courage. You're very strong, Capricorn. Or at least you appear to be strong. I feel like you're wearing armor, like in, a, in an emotional sense. Like you are, uh, I'm thinking about the Queen of Swords. You are protecting yourself, um, drawing boundaries you know I get the sense that you are 
I don't know. It, it's almost like the, this, whatever happened here, you're still strong, despite the fact that it was terrible. Despite the fact that maybe you didn't expect it or that this was kind of, you know, you weren't ready for this. Again, I feel like you came out okay or at least appearing okay. Um, let me see if I can get one more. Can I get one more energy, please? For Capricorn, what energies is Capricorn bringing to this connection spirit? Can you tell me about Capricorn's energy? In this connection, what can you tell me about Capricorn's energy? This connection, yep, the elephant. The elephant is an energy about meeting obstacles head on, um, being able to crush obstacles in front of you, that kind of energy. Maybe you even can go around obstacles. There is the elephant in the room, right? That you're able to address or deal with. So I, I get the sense that even though this was very difficult, you handled it or are handling it in the best way that you can. So let's look at your person. Tell me about the person that Capricorn is dealing with. Spirit, what do we need to know about their energies towards Capricorn or this connection? walking away they could have walked away from you perhaps you walked away from them can i get one more about this person that capricorn is or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person's energies well these cards kind of want to come out but they are not what can you tell me about this person's energy the person that capricorn is dealing with tied up interesting i feel like this is someone trapped stuck burden feeling trapped in a situation looking for a way out maybe that's why we have the hangman here and the four of pentacles i feel like this person is trying to walk away from a situation that they themselves tied themselves up in which is very interesting because normally i would have said something else but you know, maybe this is someone that walked away from a situation that they're stuck in or whatnot. But I think this is someone that tied themselves up through their own actions and is trying to get out of that. Tell me about this person that Capricorn is dealing with. What else do we need to know about this person, Spirit? Yep. Starfish. It's not, not everything is as it seems. The starfish, excuse me, could even be a card about illusions. It's a card about focusing on the outside and what's on the outside is so distracting or so it looks so good that you don't realize that the inside is very different. Very shallow energy, the starfish as well. So it's someone that perhaps, I feel like this could have been somebody that presented themselves a certain way and it turned out that they weren't that person or someone who let themselves be distracted by something shiny and glittery, you know, and it got them into trouble. I see both possibilities. So let's continue here. I want to get more insight into what happened. Oops. What happened with this tower and the Ten of Swords? I mean, I feel like I don't even need to clarify because honestly, those two energies kind of speak for themselves. What can you tell me about the Tower and the Ten of Swords? Yeah, this was a partnership, a two, two of Cups type of partnership. So Two of Cups is here again. This could have been a soulmate, someone that you, tr okay, I heard the word trusted. You trusted this person, which is weird. The Two of Cups is not anything about trust, but that's what I heard. You trusted them because you recognized something in them. Maybe they reflected you, you know, like maybe if you're someone with a lot of integrity, they appear to be someone with integrity. 
I feel like this is someone that tried to match your energy, but it wasn't real. Or maybe they matched your energy up to whatever happened, right? I think that's why it was so hard for you, Capricorn. Tell me more about this tower and the Ten of Swords. Tell me about this tower. Yeah, this took a toll on you. This did a number on you, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like you distanced yourself. The Hermit's at the bottom of the deck. Um, you retreated. I feel like that's why you're so guarded and wary. You don't trust this person. You don't trust this person. Whatever happened here, you took a step back. I don't blame you, but, you know, I feel like if this person knows that this is how you are thinking of them or thinking of the situation, I mean, they have their work cut out for them. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. Once again, you know, I feel like this Ten of Cups is almost like a mask over this Temperance Reverse. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What can you tell me about this Ten of Cups spirit? Knight of Wands. Tell me about the Temperance card reverse. Why is Temperance reverse? Why is Temperance reverse? Knight of Pentacles. The moon at the bottom of the deck. Yes, this is an illusion. I feel like this person, they said one thing and did another. I feel like this person's trying to do damage control. Can I get one more energy for the Ten of Cups and the Temperance card reverse? And, you know, I don't want to be too harsh. I think everybody makes mistakes. We're only human, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I think it's there is a, such a thing as recognizing that you did something really bad and you repent and you feel very remorseful and can be genuine about your remorse. I believe all of that. I think that someone could definitely change, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You know what I mean? Um, however, it's completely up to the other person. If you hurt somebody, if you deceive someone, if you did one thing and, you know, if you are in this situation, um, no matter how you personally feel or how much you have changed, it's still up to the other person. Um, so, I, you know, I apologize if I sound a little bit harsh here, but I feel like this is somebody who's trying to do damage control. Tell me about this Ten of Cups and Temperance Reverse. What do we need to know about these energies? Okay, I got two. The Wheel of Fortune, the Empress, yeah. This person's hoping, I mean, for a miracle, really. They, and, and he, uh, once again, I feel like you are this Empress and they're this Emperor. They're trying to match your energy. Um, and again, you are, you, you just have everything that this person could want or desire you don't need anybody kind of energy. The Empress doesn't need anybody. She brings, she has everything that she could possibly need to do whatever it is she wants to create or realize. You know, like she, she's the epitome of like having it all. This person, they're, they are very focused on manifesting something with you. I do believe this, I, I see this here. However, the Ace of Pentacles is reversed with this Emperor, which tells me they don't have any, they're not bringing anything. Nothing solid, nothing financial at least. Um, they could be delayed in having this Ace of Pentacles to give to you. Um, I do feel they're going to bring you some sort of an offer and you're going to be evaluating this offer with the Seven of Cups and the Two of Cups here. I also get some sort of like illusion energy here as well because the seven of cups can also be a card about illusion not every cup is equal and you might get distracted by the shiniest cup the cup with all of the glitter rim or whatever um, you might be distracted by what you believe a cup could bring you know doesn't mean that that's the reality right like sometimes we put rose colored glasses on that's literally this what the seven of cups means so i get a little nervous you know, with these two energies. We'll find out what all of this is about. But I can tell you what you need to know, hidden factors, is that this emperor doesn't really have something to give you at this time. 
Let's see. Tell me about the Ace of... Okay, the Page of Pentacles. I didn't even, like, finish my question, but I'm going to take that. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Once again, showing up as a page. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Um, Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. It could be that this person just isn't able to give you what they want to give you but this they're showing up as a page in a night you know whereas i feel like you're showing up as king of pentacles and the empress you know what i mean they're trying to be an emperor tell me about this emperor why is the emperor here, spirit what do we need to know about this emperor yeah ten of cups once again i just get the sense that this is an illusion yeah ten of ten of wands at the bottom of the deck exactly what it, you know it looks good ten of cups this is a great presentation but it comes with fine fine print <laughs> you know what i mean and I feel like this person is very focused on healing, on, you know, having, they have a desire, a wish here. Um, yeah, for this four of wands. But, you know, reality is still a thing. I mean, and you know, this is another human trait is that sometimes we want something so badly that we want to cut corners. I feel like this person is so antsy or nervous about how you would take this that it's almost like they're becoming a bit desperate. But, you know, I almost wonder too if they've really learned their lesson because I see them still bringing you the same type of energy. Tell me about this Two of Cups and Seven of Cups down here. What do we need to know? This is what's going to happen in the near future here. What is going on here with this Two of Cups and Seven of Cups? Get some sort of insight, please. Two of Cups, Seven of Cups. Queen of Wands. Can I get some more insight, please? Why is this Two of Cups, Seven of Cups here? Ten of Wands. Wow, judgment. I do feel this is somebody coming um, towards you again. See, like you can see that. Um, Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This could be somebody coming towards you, very drawn or desiring of you, of you with the Queen of Wands. Again, I feel like you're the you're a Queen of Wands. You you ha you are a prize. Um, this person wants you for sure. But I wonder what this is with this Ten of Wands. Let's see. Why is the Ten of Wands here? This could be baggage. This could be difficulty, obligations. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Queen of Swords. Wow. Okay. So what I'm getting here is like almost like the truth is a problem. Basically, um, when I what I mean by that is the truth is now out in the open the ace of swords someone knows they can they can that's why you don't you don't trust this person because of what's happened and so that is a is something this person has to fight against right because you don't trust them so them doing whatever they've been doing in the past they can't really do in the future i think i think that they're going to try anyway but I don't think it's going to really work because this time you are seeing them very clearly. Yeah, look at this. The sun wanted to come out. You see them very clearly. You understand everything that brought you up to this point. Tell me about judgment. I just want to get judgment. What can you tell me about judgment? Four of Swords. Yeah, this person wants to make things right. Six of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like they want to heal this. The cherry after that. 
balance things out, give you something, but I don't think they can. I just don't think they can give you what they want to give you or what you deserve. Um, And I think you're going to be thinking about this. You know, when this person does come forward with this Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, you know, I feel like these are the offers this person's bringing you. I don't think you're going to be interested at first, but you might be wondering, you know, should I give them another chance? What should I do? Um, I think you're going to be a Queen of Swords when this comes in, you know completely up to you Capricorn. I uh, thank you so much for watching Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope it resonated for you or brought clarity. Um, if you did hit that like button, subscribe so you can see more readings from me and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.